So late last year, I tripped over my Fender Strat, hit the ground, really sad, picked it back up, it was good. But then I started to notice that it would buzz around the 11th fret. And then anytime I wanted to bend the high E string 15th fret, it would totally choke that note out and there was like no sustain at all. So here is my guitar plugged into my interface, I'm just kind of playing some random notes to show you the problem areas. <laughs> So I was a little frustrated, so what I did is I went back and I made sure that the neck was straight, you know, the action was set how I like it, and everything was looking good, like how I normally set up my guitars, but it was still having that issue, and I knew it probably had something to do with the fact that it fell on the ground. So I was a little bummed out, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna try to fix it with the tools that I have available to me. So in this video, I'm gonna show you like all the things that I did for this, this guitar, and it was kind of like a guessing game at the end of the day. So here's what I did and hope it's helpful. Boop, 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 boop. By the way, do you guys like my green screen? It's the first time I'm using it. And you know, when you have green eyes, it works really well. You know, if I make it blue, I can have blue eyes, right? You can change it any color you want. Um, so I'm gonna throw up this background for the OGs out there who know what's up. So the first thing you gotta do is take off the strains, right? And make sure you have something to support your guitar neck. As you can see here, my frets are, you know, not looking too good. There's a lot of wear and tear. But then I took my fret rocker, or just a straight edge tool, and I went three frets at a time to measure how um, balanced or equal they were. And when the tool rocks, that's how you know that you have some uneven frets there. So this is painful, but I took a hammer and I, you know, just tried to see if any of those frets were a little loose and if that could maybe do the job and fix it up that didn't work so and then I went into sanding and these were just tools I've had around the house and I checked my progress with the fret rocker another thing that you can do is to get a sharpie draw on the fret and as you sand down you'll see the areas that you're taking off after I sanded down the guitar it was still choking on the 15th fret, but the buzz around the 11th fret was gone. So what I ended up doing was just taking my guitar and taking a screwdriver and undoing the neck from the body of the guitar. So I kept the strings on. I just, you know, made sure they were really loose and I removed the neck from the guitar. And in between the neck and the body, there was this piece of paper. And it's not just like any piece of paper, it's like a cardboard piece of paper. I don't know if that's in focus, but it's pretty thick. And I took that out. It, it sort of fell out, so I didn't really have a choice. And then I was like, hmm, I don't know. Let me just try it, try it again. So I screwed the neck on back to the guitar, right, with my screwdriver. And hey, the choke was gone. So I don't know if it was like this tiny piece of paper was creating unnecessary space uh, or like a lift on the neck here. Like maybe it was, it was just lifting it a little bit. So here's what my guitar sounds like now. So if you've made it this far in the video, this is the end. Congratulations and thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any cool ideas or thoughts for me. So anyways, again, thank you for watching and happy practicing.